Hello friends, welcome to PharmaCam Insights. In this video, we will see some basic common interview question and answers on related substance by HPLC. So let's get started. First question, what are related substances in pharmaceuticals? So answer is, related substances are impurities structurally similar to the active pharmaceutical ingredient that is API arising from manufacturing processes or degradation. They include process related impurities and degradation products. Next question. Why is HPLC used for related substance testing? So answer is HPLC provides high sensitivity and resolution enabling the detection and quantification of impurities at trace levels typically less than 0.05 percentage it is also versatile with various detectors like uv pda and ms that is mass spectrometry next question what guidelines govern related substance testing so answer is ICH Q3A for drug substances, ICH Q3B for drug products and ICH Q2 for method validation are the key regulatory guidelines for impurity profiling in related substance testing. Next question, how do you choose a suitable HPLC column for impurity analysis? So answer is a suitable HPLC column for impurity analysis is selected based on the nature of API and impurities that is polar non-polar, retention behavior of column, compatibility with mobile phase, column efficiency and resolution. Typically a C18 reverse phase column is a starting point in impurity analysis. Next question, how do you validate an HPLC method for related substances? So answer is, as per ICH Q2 guidelines, validate for following parameters. First is specificity, second is linearity, third is precision, fourth is accuracy, fifth is LOD and LOQ that is limit of detection and limit of quantification. 6th is robustness, 7th is stability of solution. Next question, what is the difference between LOD and LOQ? So answer is LOD is lowest amount detectable. Signal to noise ratio should be greater than or equal to 3 ratio 1. LOQ is lowest amount quantifiable with accuracy and precision. Signal to noise ratio so will be greater than or equal to 10 ratio 1. Next question. How is the response factor RF used in related substances? So answer is response factor RF corrects for detector response differences between impurities and the main compound that is API allowing accurate quantitation. Next question, what are the qualification thresholds as per ICH guidelines? As per ICH Q3A R2, that is impurities in new drug substances guideline, based on maximum daily dose, example for doses less than or equal to 2 gram per day, reporting threshold is 0.05 percentage, identification threshold is 0.10 percentage qualification threshold is 0.15 percentage next question what is the difference between specified unspecified and total impurities so answer is specified impurities are individually identified and limited unspecified impurities are not individually listed but limited example less than or equal to 0.1 percentage and total impurities is sum of all impurities that is known plus unknown example less than or equal to 2 percentage 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ पोस्ट डिग्रेडेशन स्टडीज इन इंप्यूरिटी प्रोफाइलिंग तो आंसर इज टू इंश्योर मेथड स्पेसिफिसिटी एंड स्टेबिलिटी इंडिकेटिंग नेचर ऑफ द मेथड इट हेल्प्स इन आइडेंटिफाइंग पोटेंशियल डिग्रेडेशन प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सेपरेट स्टेम फ्रॉम द मेन पीक next question how do you confirm peak purity in an hplc chromatogram so answer is using a photodiode or a pda detector to check purity angle versus purity threshold if purity angle is less than purity threshold the peak is considered pure next question what are the common causes of impurity coelution and how do you resolve them so answer is impurity coelution is caused by first inadequate resolution second similar polarity and it is resolved by modifying mobile phase ph changing column or gradient method using orthogonal methods like helix or ion pairing next question how is accuracy assessed in related substance method validation so answer is by recovery studies of known impurities at different concentration levels example 50 percentage 100 percentage 150 percentage and acceptance criteria is 98 to 102 percentage for recovery next question what is the purpose of solution stability studies in impurity profiling so answer is to ensure analyte and impurities are stable in solution over time typically 24 to 48 hours avoiding misleading results due to degradation during analysis next question how is precision evaluated in impurity analysis so answer is precision is evaluated by analyzing multiple replicates that is six and calculating percentage rsd intraday repeatability and interday intermediate precision should be less than or equal to 2 percentage next question what is meant by the term spiking in impurity analysis so answer is spiking in impurity analysis means adding known impurities into the sample to test method recovery linearity and specificity this stimulates real impurity presence next question what do you do if an unknown impurity exceeds the identification threshold so answer is isolate and characterize that unknown impurity using lcms nmr or ir followed by toxicological evaluation for qualification as per ich q3a q3b guideline next question how do you prepare a known impurity solution so answer is weigh accurately dissolve in diluent and dilute to target concentration often at the specification level or loq next question what are relative retention time that is rrt and its role in impurity profiling so answer is relative retention time that is rrt is the ratio of impurity retention time to that of the main peak it helps in consistent identification of known impurities in routine testing next question how do you ensure robustness in related substances hplc method robustness is ensured by intentionally varying parameters like flow rate plus minus 10 percentage ph plus minus 0.2 units column temperature plus minus 5 degree celsius and also varying mobile phase composition evaluate if system suitability and resolutions are unaffected thank you i hope you like the video so please like share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section Bye